Hi guys, this is Eugene and in this video I'll talk about the Foot Blaster triggers. Introduction First of all, I'd like to thank Foot Blaster for the opportunity to join the family which already has a really impressive artist roster and is growing by the day. You can definitely find reviews about these triggers on the internet. Many drummers and artists have posted videos already. So this will be nothing new to you if you're familiar with the product. I just wanted to give you my impact and the experience I had with the Foot Blasters in the last month or so. But if you're new to this product, make sure you check out footblaster.com. You'll find all the necessary information in there. Link in the description. Installation. The Foot Blasters are universal triggers one can mount on any pedal. At the moment, I'm using my Axis A21 Sabre double pedal. The Foot Blasters come with double-sided tape, making it fairly easy to install the triggers on your pedals. The Foot Blasters come with installation instructions. If you follow the steps, you shouldn't have any issues. The important part is the position you choose on your pedal to attach the triggers at. To avoid double triggering, make sure your footboard is touching the edge of the trigger and not the surface. I kinda ignored this fact and it was a mistake. It does make a big difference. Other than that, everything else is pretty simple. Make sure your trigger is attached properly to your pedal so it won't fall off during the performance. Modules and settings. I have tried the foot blasters with a couple of different trigger modules and I'll have to say it does make a big difference which module you're using. The foot blasters are really sensitive, probably the most sensitive triggers I have ever used. I have two and a half years of experience with Axis E kits and if you're familiar with those, the foot blasters are even more sensitive. That means when it comes down to fiddling with your threshold settings you can go pretty high otherwise it will be picking up unnecessary hits. So far I tried the foot blasters with a Yamaha DTX 502, a Roland TM2 and a Roland SPD-SX. I highly recommend to use the foot blasters with the Roland modules I have mentioned. Both work just brilliantly with the triggers. My current settings are Threshold 21, Scan Time 3.5, Retrick Cancel 9, Mask Time 12, Crosstalk 0%. The rest doesn't matter for me for I'm not using any dynamics while triggering my kick drum. Both above mentioned Roland modules work in a very similar fashion when it comes down to settings. The TM2 is relatively cheap and affordable almost anywhere. That's why I think one of the biggest advantages the foot blasters have is that they are compatible with the TM2. Luckily you will feel almost no difference in playing a double pedal or two singles using the foot blasters because you'll have two separate triggers for your right and left foot common problems during performance. I'd like to go through some particular patterns I had issues with before I started using foot blasters. While playing fast and extreme music, you'll still have to play some slow and groovy patterns from time to time. If you have your threshold setting too low, slower and more powerful strokes might be too rough for that. Not in this case. Sometimes depending on my mood and tempo, I prefer to play blast beats with one foot. The foot blaster does the job perfectly. Tricky and syncopated double bass pattern might cause a lot of misfiring. These patterns differ a lot from a simple and straight single stroke kick roll because of the short breaks and the strength you put into the hits. One of my biggest personal frustrations when it comes down to playing a double pedal with built-in triggers is the left foot misfiring during skank beats if you leave it resting on the bass drum while playing with your right foot. Same goes for metal drum rolls incorporating short double bass bursts. If you leave your feet resting on the kick drum, it might cause misfiring. With the foot blasters, it works like a charm. With the foot blasters, you can even play eighth notes at 300 BPM with one foot. what to say. Complete respect. Short double bass bursts at around 250 plus BPM were great even with a single bass drum. Longer 
one foot and double bass runs are one of the most important patterns in extreme metal drumming. Switching between 8th notes with 1 foot and 16th note double bass is problematic if you have your left foot resting on the kick drum, in case it's a single bass drum. But the thing is, it's easier to keep your left foot on the kick drum because it's ready to jump immediately with the double bass, so it's essential that your triggers work perfectly when it comes down to playing these patterns. I'm not a double stroke player, at least at the moment I haven't mastered them, but sometimes I use them in slow skank beats and some drum rolls. Epilogue it is a magnificent product without doubt. It will take you some time to get used to them if you've never used built-in triggers before. As I mentioned, I've had some experience with Axis E-Kits, that's why the foot blaster is very really, really comfortable. Also don't forget that triggers work differently with different modules. That's why I highly recommend to use it with the Rolum TM2. Works great. I hope you found this video informative and entertaining. Make sure to check out the Foot Blaster triggers at footblaster.com and don't forget to like, comment, share this video with your fellow drummers. Subscribe to my channel and follow me on other social media platforms for more content. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you next time. Eugene, out. Psst. Are you still here? Make sure you check out these as well.